<clears throat> so you got to be careful not to scratch this finish, right? I mean, yes, this part's going to get cut out for the window, but the surrounding edges got to stay there. So what I did was I made myself a plastic scraper. This is a very strong, pernicious, double-sided adhesive. It's not a tape. It's an actual adhesive with no tape in it. It has no polyamide film or anything in there. It's just polyurethane film. I mean, it's got uh, just tape. It's just adhesive. I use this stuff to stick stuff down, too. So it's a bear to remove. you got to use Goo Gone to get the residue off, okay? But you're going to not want to use a metal scraper. And I made this real quick just using the chop saw and the sander. I just made a very sharp little blade. And the deal is, is that you can get in there without scratching anything. You see how it pulls the tape back? See, I can push, I can rub it all over this paint. It's not going to hurt it, okay? It's actually going to wear the plastic out before it wears the paint out. And this may not work on all paint, but this is very tough. It's pierced by a powder coat type finish. So, let's see. You just got to work your balls off on this. This is, this is going to turn this into a, uh... I just want to show you how this stuff, how this works out, okay? You want to get this foam out. The, the, the goo gone isn't going to be able to get to the adhesive until you get the foam off. So you got to get the foam off. You can't peel it off. You can see it just doesn't. It's not going to peel off, right? You can take little pieces of it. It's not going to peel off. You have to get it off there. And you can get it off pretty rapidly. And then you want to apply the goo gone right to that tape strip. And I'll just show you real quick in one little area here. I don't want to do the whole window make you watch all that it's very boring just put a little bit on there okay get it on there let it saturate into the adhesive it's going to make it loosen up okay i'm not going to wait the whole time that i normally do i usually wait a couple minutes i don't let the goo gone dry okay but i let it get into the material into the adhesive okay so there it is and then you'll see that you can get a pretty clean removal you're going to have to go back again with a rag and wipe up all the scummy bummies. Right? You can see how it just takes it right off. Okay. I don't want to do the whole thing because, it, like I said, it's, it's not that exciting to watch. right? But you can see how it's pulling that off. It would be great if I could just grab that and pull it off, but it's not going to happen. You've got to scrape it. And you got to use a plastic scraper or you'll scratch the paint. So, that's another little tip. Modding tip and trick. you got to remove this crappy kind of adhesive that sticks like hell. You're going to have to work at it. But the bottom line is, is that once that's all done, then you can take a rag. Okay. Now, watch what happens when I get that last little bit. See? Now we're down to this area right here. That's back to paint. But you can see it's a fair amount of work. Okay, here's after removing all the tape and foam and crap. Okay, so now we're back to metal and paint. So I can actually do a layout. When you're laying out, it, you got to realize you're going to be needing to lay this thing flat to cut it, right? So you're probably going to want to flip it upside down, which means protect it, okay? Flip it upside down so that you can work it. Okay, unless you're using a jigsaw, then you may want the flat side, and but you're going to have to put something under it so that it lays flat, because as you can see, stuff sticks up. All right, just more stuff you needed to see. Okay, this is similar to that uh, other panel I did that you guys saw. Had to once rounded corner, so here you go. Step bit, a little bit of layout, template, and then work with the fine saw. Okay, right up to each hole. I'm going to do that all the way around. Then I'll be able to nip those little bits and then pull it out. And then I'll hand file right up to the profile I want. And then that'll be the opening. Here's the finished cutout. It took a hell of a long time. Uh, <clears throat> a little bit longer than I expected. But anyway, it came out real nice. As you can see, I got the radius, corners, no damage. No chip paint. I accomplished what I set out to do. Uh, I'm going to put the window in in a little bit. I'll show you that in a minute.